Good day, everyone. My name is Maria Konjelska, and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. Since the times of epidemic recalls in us many metaphysical questions, we will talk today about the greatest Polish philosophers of 20th century. With me in the studio is Marek Konjelski, former student of Professor Bogusław Wolniewicz and a Polish philosopher. Thank you for having the courage to be with us. Hello, everyone, and thank you for inviting me to your program. Fever, sore throat, problem with breathing, Fortunately, nothing like this, but it's worthwhile remembering that last plug in Europe resulted in a very outstanding uh, literary output, which is the Cameron by Boccaccio. So we should rather think in these categories that we can bring something fruitful to this world, thanks to epidemic. But still, it uh, is a cause to think in metaphysical uh, in the times of plug. Marek, I know that one of your great her philosophical masters was Professor Bogusław Wolniewicz, and he is now an academic as a translator and commentator of Ludwig Wittgenstein's works, especially the first work, so Tractatus Logicus. But who was Professor Wolniewicz for you personally, and what kind of figure he was in the academic world? Well, I must say that uh, Wolniewicz, in my opinion, was absolutely a man of genius. And it all started off uh, for me uh, from the very first encounter with philosophy when I attended a seminar. So I was then to decide whether I'm going to study philosophy or not. And I decided that if you teach philosophy in this way, in this institute, I'm definitely in. Uh, altogether, I knew him 33 years. and. Definitely, he has formed my Weltanschauung, as we say in German, which is a general outlook on how the world looks like in philosophical terms. And even though we choose him right now as one of the greatest influencers in Polish philosophy of 20th century, we can say he was not an easy teacher, was he? <clears throat> well, he was not an easy teacher, partly because he was a genius. And being a genius in terms of philosophical anthropology means that you have this uh, portion in you that is evil, uh, that you have to uh, pacify, let's say, you have to control. Uh, but to start off, uh, we have to talk about the situation in philosophy, in world philosophy in the 20th century. Because in the 20th century it happened that uh, there were four main philosophical formations formed in result of their attitude towards metaphysics from one side and logic from the other side. So we have this well-known uh, logical school that is naturalistic, that is not focused on metaphysics. And in Poland, this is this uh, lwów Warsaw uh, school uh, of logic. Uh, and this is British analytical philosophy in the world. But we also have what I would call analytical metaphysics, which is represented by Wittgenstein and in Poland by Elsenberg and then Wolniewicz. We have uh, also two uh, different formations. One that is, I mean, both of them don't treat logic as the organon. So this is something maybe not uncommon, but since the times of ancient Greek philosophy, we treat logic as the organon. We simply don't have any other. And in the 20th century, there emerged mathematical logic that should be applied in philosophical investigations. So the other two schools disregard logic. And again, one of them focuses on metaphysics, like Max Scheller, for instance. And the other is not like Sigmund Freud. In this division, philosophical division, where is Professor Bogusław Wolniewicz? And what was his interpretation of uh, Ludwig Wittgenstein's work? Wolniewicz is definitely in uh, transcendental rationalism, which is analytical metaphysics. He interpreted Wittgenstein in an ontological way. So 
he is not of an opinion that this is just a theory of meaning, as they assume in British analytical philosophy, but this is ontology. So it tells something, I mean, it tries to address the very basic, very fundamental question, what is the relation between the word and the thought, the being and the thought, and the language. Pursuant to Wittgenstein, philosophy is composed of logic and metaphysics, where the logic constitutes the foundation for the metaphysics. So the Volnevich was of the same opinion. Because there are many different um, interpretations of tra Tractat Logicus when it comes to, to Wittgenstein, uh, but this one uh, overwhelmed the Polish interpretation, as I understand and uh, is treated as the most genius one in the case. And that was interpretation of Professor Bogusław Wolniewicz. So he's known as, um, as an interpreter of, and a translator of, of, of Wittgenstein, but he himself, himself also created his own philosophy and wrote four volumes of books, philosophy, and, and values. values. And we have them here with us. We can show them to the viewers. There are four exquisite books of Polish philosophy. And let's answer what, what kind of question he, he tried to answer in those books. First, Wolniewicz is known as an interpreter of Wittgenstein and a translator. He also translated old papers of uh, Gottlob Frege into Polish. So he is he was active in, in the field of logic and ontology. He formed his own ontological uh, system, ontology of uh, situation, where the situations play similar role as uh, as the facts in, in the Tractatus. But this was just the beginning of his philosophy, of his mature philosophical activity, because it should be stressed that Volniewicz has created a system. So it is a great philosophical system, probably one of the last since the time of Hegel, who, by the way, asked the same question of the relation between language and the world. But he simply applied wrong tools to analyze this in form of his dialectics. Uh, but still, uh, Volniewicz believed that there are two oppositions that are very hard to be conceived by the human, by, by human mind. And this is the opposition between something that is endowed with reason against something that is not endowed with reason, and the other opposition because what is finite and what is infinite. So if we assume this, uh, he distinguished three fields of philosophy, and he was philosophizing in all three, and one is ontology. That ontology is the link with the world that is deprived of reason, no matter whether it's infinite or not infinite. Then we have anthropological, uh, philosophical anthropology, that is uh, concentrating on uh, the beings that are endowed with reason, but which are not infinite. And there is a theology in philosophical meaning of this word that is analyzing uh, reason that is infinite, if any of such reason exists. So we have these three divisions, and the basis of it is ontology, which for many in the 20th century was dead. But this is by no means that I think, and the Tractatus, and and then Volniewicz ontology of the situation is uh, is the best example. But also there are other philosophical schools that develop their own ontology. <clears throat> For instance, in in analytical school we have something like uh, point eventism, which analyzes the ontology that uh, is the foundation for Einstein's uh, relativity theory. This is very interesting. Uh, of course, each time of this ontology brings some problems in interpretation, but still, whether you focus or not on different uh, aspects of reality in the stems, it's, we, we again come to a very uh, fundamental question. If we think of a world as everything that is around us, is it just a natural world 
or there are some parts of the world that are beyond the natural world. And this defines if you have this metaphysical attitude or you're a naturalist. Naturalists tend to say that natural world is everything, uh, which is for a metaphysical mind a kind of reduction because there is a part of the world that is beyond natural world. So this is one of the basic distinctions, if you have this metaphysical instinct or not. It's worth to underline that Polish philosophical schools have great ontological masters and thinkers, and one of them was Professor Bogusław Folniewicz. If you don't know anything about him, go and check his books, Philosophy and Values. They are really incredible, especially in those times if you yourself ask some metaphysical questions. And thank you for watching Poland Daily Culture.